This is the next tutorial in the SDT video tutorial series titled Working with Databases. Let's overview the tools for creating an ultrasound asset monitoring database and learn some tips for working efficiently to build our database. Ultranalysis Suite consists of a main database that is constructed of any number of data trees. In UAS, the tree is used to describe the location of measurement points. The tree can use up to six nodes, five of which are used to describe the location of the measurement point within your plant. Data trees are stored in your UAS main database. To access them, choose Tree Structure from the File menu. When the Tree Structure List dialog box opens, highlight the tree you want and click Open. Choose New to create a new data tree. UAS will prompt you to give your new tree a name. Do so and click Save. Your new tree will appear in the list. Open it normally. From the data tree, we build surveys. Think of a survey as a work order or a list of tasks that tells us what data to collect and when to collect it. We access our surveys from the SDT270 and SDT170 survey tabs. Measurements you place in a survey can only come from the open tree, but those tasks can belong to more than one survey. Try to limit the size of any one tree to no more than 1,200 measurement points. Uploading from UAS to the SDT270 data collector synchronizes the open data tree and all its associated survey. It's important to maintain naming consistency while building your database so you can tap into the powerful search capabilities. UAS makes use of familiar cut, copy, and paste functions, tools you already use in your everyday Windows environment. Use these tools to duplicate nodes of your tree. You will build your tree much quicker while avoiding typos and inconsistencies. The filter search tool allows you to drill deeply and quickly into your database. Using our sample tree, a search for FAN, capital F, narrows our list of all the motors and fans in the tree. A search for FAN, small f, narrows the list further and eliminates the motors. And we can make our search even more exact by using the semicolon as the word AND. For example, searching for FAN, semicolon, outboard, will return only a list of measurements for outboard fan bearings. The powerful filtration capabilities in UAS allows us to find data more easily, create and attach alarms to groups of similar measurement types, organize asset lists to create useful surveys, and of course, most importantly, allow us to quickly compare data from similar machines. Thanks for watching this short tutorial. We learned the difference between a data tree and a survey and the importance of adhering to consistent naming conventions when building your tree. Be sure to watch the next video in this series, Building Data Trees.